next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me uh, down, but it's okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> and now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fun. and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jabs, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And he comes through with a big knee.
liver kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. Straight punch land. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Ooh, head kick lands, he hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice jab. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, oh big nice knee. knee. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! Huge kick to the head. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Nermako Medov gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Ooh, what a punch. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Nermako Medov's knee strike is blocked. Big head kick lands. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and, and this might just be a matter of time. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, oh, he might have got it with a choke. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, blocks the shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh. 
another one. Yep. Up oh, in the left hand. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Juan Romero. Yeah, Javier Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Nice straight punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punching, coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Throws the right hand there. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Beautiful body kick. Oh. Yes. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight. So now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in there. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Yamago Medov's got the full mount. Fostering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Back mount now. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Single collar tie there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He's throwing every part of himself. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, man, these are hard. Big elbow there, Lance. What a fight. Strong hook, Lance. And we look like it did start him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Marmago Medoff's got his head. See if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Our guillotine. There it is. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. So that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. 
He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with... Oh, no. Inside, he's hit out. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. All right, single collar tie now. Knee to the body now, it's blocked. Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Nurmagomedov. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big punch from the clinch. Big oh. knee lands there. Really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick. Nurmagomedov's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the seat right now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Great punch. Got the single collar tie. Nice uppercut. Just misses with the straight right. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch. Get fatigued in the process, I would. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach. And yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Big knee. Oh, these are some devastating knees as we... No! Oh, huge right hand! Marco Meno gets up again here, but he looks... Oh, he's got him right here. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nurmagomedov going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh, single collar tie here. That's a big strike right there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop to this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's life.